known as the Ancient Book of Prophecies. It's said to be capable of transcribing events that have yet to take place. Yes, considering legend has it, the book can also conjure, making an entire world filled with beings and powers that have yet to exist. On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. The future has already been written. Book of Prophecies that was alluded to in Kingdom Hearts 2.5 recoded and it's a focal point in Kingdom Hearts key is said to be of great importance to the overall Kingdom Hearts universe and this book may be the key to how overall game progression works in Kingdom Hearts 3. The Book of Prophecies is said to conjure worlds, people, and powers that are yet to exist or future versions of existing worlds. Maleficent is after this Book of Prophecies in order to conquer worlds and perhaps gain power she needs for her end goal. However, the Book of Prophecies may play a much more pivotal role in Kingdom Hearts 3 than Maleficent's original plan. At E3 2015, Tatsuya Nomura confirmed they'll be getting more worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 than any other game in the series, and that most of them will be brand new worlds. Which brings us to my thought, that the Book of Prophecies is going to be the catalyst to the formation of this plethora of new worlds. That is the story element in Kingdom Hearts 3 that will explain the world progression and completion. In other worlds, all the new worlds that we'll see in Kingdom Hearts 3 may come from the Book of Prophecies. All the returning worlds that we'll see will be there because their time flows accordingly. However, brand new worlds, such as Tangled, may come into existence through the book. For those who don't know what the Book of Prophecies is, here's a little crash course. During the events of Kingdom Hearts Key, before the Keyblade War was fought, a Keyblade Master had six followers and bestowed upon five of them a tome. These five followers will become known as the Foretellers, and the tome will be called the Foretellers Script for a time. The tome not only has the power to conjure powers and worlds from the future, it also has events of the future written in its pages. In the back of the book, it has the omen that young Xehanort has stated in the recent Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. The Foretellers Script has now come to be known as the Book of Prophecies, and Maleficent is searching for it, or an equivalent for her plans. Now, since these worlds come from the Book of Prophecies, that means that they're out of time, being brought into the existence of our own time from the future. Surely, existences like that can lead to catastrophic events, especially since Maleficent is already planning to use something like this to assist her in her designs. Think about it. In Kingdom Hearts 1, it had you sealing the worlds. In Kingdom Hearts 2, it had you opening the lanes through the worlds. Now, in Kingdom Hearts 3, we'll have you returning the new worlds to the Book of Prophecies and lock them away until their time comes. Now, when it comes to an actual structure to the narrative, the future worlds that could be brought forth through the power of the Book of Prophecies could attribute to many things when looking at the story of Kingdom Hearts 3. The future worlds can be brought into existence from the book either by Maleficent for her own plan or by an ally, probably Mickey or maybe even Sora. Either way, when these worlds come to existence, the heroes will have to be in possession of the book after their creation in order to put them back. Now, if the heroes were to conjure the world to some Maleficent, you know, this still leaves Maleficent to jump in on this opportunity in order to find a spot as recurring villain. This could be their way of searching for the mysterious key to return hearts, because there has been absolutely nothing in the past Kingdom Hearts games and even in Kingdom Hearts key that leads to this thing or this object existing. But perhaps, maybe that's the point. The key to return hearts doesn't exist yet, but the Book of Prophecies being, you know, the Book of Prophecies, probably tells of the object existing in the future and the heroes must conjure the worlds in order to seek it and bring it to their own time. This could all lead to the reasoning why Sora and the gang must travel worlds again in Kingdom Hearts 3, because we have all been building up to the Keyblade War, we need the Seven Guardians of Light, why else do we need to travel worlds again when Xehanort has his 13 ready and waiting, there's a war happening, why are we traveling the worlds? So reasons that attribute to the thought of having worlds from the Book of Prophecies can exist as follows. Square Enix needs a reason for Sora and the gang to travel worlds. The need to have an explanation to why brand new worlds that we've never seen or have been alluded to exist in Kingdom Hearts 3. A great chance to give reason for new Disney films and time skips in existing worlds. Maleficent still wants these worlds for her own plans, a chance to stop her in the narrative. The search for the key to return to hearts, since it could be an item of the future. And another reason that could be attributed to all of this is the endgame. The Keyblade War that Xehanort wants in order to recreate the Keyblade and summon Kingdom Hearts. If we've learned 
anything from the last Keyblade War is that the worlds got swallowed up by the darkness, and that's something that could lead to severe implications. Now, if worlds of the future were looming about in the realms and the Keyblade War commences again, they will be at risk from the battles that will be commencing. Imagine if a world from the future was to fall in the darkness out of its own time. Do you understand the consequences of something like that happening? This could lead Sora and others on a quest, perhaps maybe after each of the world's first visitations, in order to seal the world back into the book for safety. With all of that being said, I believe this is going to be the reason behind the need to travel worlds again, and the reason for having most of the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 having mostly new worlds. The Book of Prophecies has been built up in Kingdom Hearts Key, which has been confirmed to have ties with Kingdom Hearts 3 directly, and with the link we got in Kingdom Hearts 2.5 in the recorded cutscenes, this seems to be very, very much the case. Squid Nates loves to give us these clues to reconnect them and lead to the future of Kingdom Hearts, and it's my job to take those clues and bring you the truth. If you found this video fascinating, and if you love Kingdom Hearts, and especially Kingdom Hearts 3, then be sure to like, favorite, share, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Kingdom Hearts 3 videos. And, until the next one, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. Subscribe to HMK, or else.